Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In today's video, we'll be talking about the main window of the 1X agent. In today's demo, I'll be talking about the top bar, the working list window, and the action bar. You can find detailed instructions for the 1X agent in the Avaya 1X Agent 2.5 documentation library. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the 1X agent user interface. Here we have a logged in agent. The main window is made up of three parts, the top bar, the work area, and the action bar. Now let's take a look at the top bar. This section, the top section here is the top bar and it contains uh, some of our main system attributes. So we, have, so we have a red light in this corner for voice messages. We then have our agent uh, the state of the agent. In this case, we have an agent logged on and ready to receive calls, and we can change that to an auxiliary, or we can log out. Here we have the status. So this is the user status. So this whole section here gives us the user status, the agent's set ID and the agent ID, and the state, which is ready. This section is our common controls area, and right now we only have two common controls. We have the mute button, and we have the audio monitoring button, which opens up an audio monitoring, so we can monitor our packet drop and VoIP traffic information. Um, also, we'd have uh, IM, but on this agent I don't have IM configured, so we'd have an IM status indicator there as well. The next item is the system menu, and we just click on that. And we have our agent preference, system settings, help, and about 1x agent. Station disconnect and exit, those are the main uh, options we have under there. And the final section is just the interface control, minimize, and exit. The next section we're going to talk about is the action bar, which is the bottom section of the user interface. Now this contains global controls and additional windows that can open. Um, the first part we have here is a uh, new action list, so we can place a new call or a new IM. And this changes depending on what's configured with your agent. The next section is the text entry area. Now this changes depending on uh, what we're actually trying to do. So uh, this is just where we put our input in. Next buttons are buttons to open different windows. So we have our contacts list and we just click on that to open. We have the dial pad. So if you want to use the dial pad to enter digits instead of the text box. This is also, this is our work log. This is the VU status window and it uh, collects status information from the ACD and posts it here. And finally we have the application launch uh, so we can launch applications from here. Uh, I've previously configured these in another video so you can look at adding application launch points. And the next section we're going to look at is the work area and right now since this agent isn't active uh, we're on a closed system uh, we just have auto accept and so what I'll do is I'll just initiate a call and then uh, we can take a look at the window. So I've just initiated a call and here you can see the work I working so this is the type of work information. These are the work controls so um, start a new call, conference a call, I am and this is the work item information so this is the information items associated with the work item this is the media, so this is a phone call outbound to Kevin. And these are the media controls, so if I had video, I'd have a video indicator here. And this is just to hang up, put it on hold, transfer the call. So we'll just release this call now. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.